Well, here's an Impala station wagon. Looks pretty stock except for that steering wheel. 327. It's got the badges anyway. It's a 350 it says in here. None except for the steering wheel. Chrysler 300, 383 Magnum motor, automatic transmission. See, this is a boat. If I ever did see one. Yep, I remember Chrysler. Oh, this is my favorite right here. Nice classic Ford Thunderbird. Thunderbird. Ford Mustang GT right here. Oh man. It's a Ford motor if I ever did see one. 4.6 liter V8. Customized Kenwood ground sound system. Classic Mustang. Door. Shut it, Mark. Mustang DT. Yeah. Thank you. Final shot of the Thunderbird. Love it. Hard top. It's like original Thunderbird. Music's working. Music's working. Fucking yeah, sport. Looks like the motor is got it. It's got the original motor in it, the Ford motor. Moving on down the line. Dodge. 57 Dodge. Streamline. Website. Uh, yeah, I remember that. Dodge has the push button transmission. pickup truck 409 you list too many modifications and I can see it the lights front end it's a little chop auto cover original everything everything's not original so I say there's power windows oh a classic amenity probably AC too Here's another 50, uh, this thing is Chevy here. Yep. I don't know what year it is, I'll check that. That's what I say, don't run your fingers over my truck. I want my truck over your fingers. It's 57 also Chevy, so it would have been right. I told you that was the year they're competing for who could have the best streamline pickup. You see a lot of streamline features on this. Big thing for Chevy and uh, more or less Ford when they came out in 56 with the F100 was the big fenders. So. Back to it, sorry, no interruption. Yes, Chevy 
already 3,200, so that would have been a full, full size, uh, biggest pickup probably that you get. Another Chevy here. It's like original motor almost. 22 pickup, 66 Chevy, so it's a little bit younger. You do notice from the difference. Two Chevys, front end. Pretty, somewhat stock almost. Some different interior gauge layout change and uh, different steering wheel came with it. The big foot pedal to keep his foot off the gas. And basically a rhino liner looks to be in the rear. There's another Chevrolet. Chevrolet Chevelle station wagon, 64. Looks like original motor. I've never seen a Chevelle station wagon. Must be a rare one. AC. America was in the station wagons back then. Here's Chevy, looks to be hot rod here. No, it's not a Chevy, I'm sorry. Sorry for all my Ford buffers here. Couldn't tell with these customized hot rods, I'd tell you the originals. It's a 1935 Ford sedan with a, actually a Chevy 350 in it. There's a 350. The flame etched into the valve covers and into the header plug covers. Also, it looks to be a Edelbrock dual, or it's four, yeah, dual carburetor. Not a dual carb, I'm sorry, I can't think today. Uh, four barrel carb. Full gauge. Leather interior. All the way around with the electrics, the windows. Pretty nice. Here's another little hot rod review. It's a Ford Coupe with the 350 also. But they <laughs> unique thing. It says he put a C4 in it, so it is a Ford transmission mounted to a Chevy. At least he kept some Ford parts. Not a bad little interior. More uh, stock than anything with some added on features to the dash layout. Next one. Nice little Frenchy antenna. 